Next setup that we're going to show is how to uh, approach the triangle when you have a guy trying to break your guard open. And uh, this one is a really high percentage setup that I use a good bit. I don't throw a lot of triangles, I got really short legs, but the ways that I do get successful triangles is by controlling my opponent's posture or by using something that my opponent is doing against him. Where are my guard? One of the first ways that people will break your guard open is either by putting their elbow on your leg or their hand on your leg. People love to use this one. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna show a variation of, of both of these on how to approach the triangle from here. One, you have to control this space. This posture is a killer. Even if I were to just try to throw a triangle from here, there's no way, he wouldn't even have to posture out of it. There's no way I could land a triangle from here. So what I have to do is either come up to him or bring him to me. So as soon as we're here, first thing I wanna do is grab here. Now, see how much closer we are? I want to get even closer than that, but for right now, this works. I want to take this hand, and I'm going to reach under my leg, and I'm going to hit his elbow or his wrist, depending on where on your leg he is for what you can grab. But he's sitting there, he's prying down, he's prying down. I reach under, and I want to swing out. Now, if you can see, I have control of his wrist. What I want to do is just knock it straight down and reach up and swing, okay? All in one motion, it's gonna look more like this. We're here, I've broken the guard down. And I'm gonna come in and start attacking the triangle. Obviously, to finish the triangle, you wanna go out at an angle. The main focus of this video is for a setup. So, he's here, he's postured up, he's in a good position to start breaking the guard open. Step one is start breaking him down. Step two, I like to bring this far side foot right here. That helps me get an angle. And this hand, under. And now look, I'm not, I'm not just throwing my leg here. I'm trying to reach my hips up and scoop him down as far as I can. All right? One more time. We're here. He's postured up. He's postured up. He's in a good jiu-jitsu stance here. I want to start coming to him. I do that before I reach this arm under. So I'm here. I come up. If I can get an overhook, that's fine. I'll control the head. As soon as I break, hand under, and I'm coming up. Now, when I'm here, Controlling the back of the head, all the way through the triangle, okay? Now, there's a variation to this. If he's using his elbow to try to break your guard open, which a lot of people do, and that's fine, same thing applies, same setup, but instead of attacking the arm, instead of going under my leg, I want to attack his wrist. And I want to take his wrist and push it straight to his solar plexus. I don't want to do this slowly. I want to just pop it straight there. And as soon as I do, I'm coming up and over. But from here, essentially, I'm just going here. Now, when I come up, if I can get in this guard right here, I, I'm pretty close to a triangle from here. From here, I'll start clamping down on the head, and then I'll create the angle, and I'll reach up and finish. But essentially, the setup, he's using this elbow. I, cr I close some of the distance, and I pop this elbow. I'm going to leave him sitting up so that you can see what I'm doing. But Keep in mind, you want to control this space. So we're here, I'm going here. Now, see how when I go in, it's real easy for me to pull my leg over. I don't want to just sit here and let him pry and pry and pry, because finally my guard will break and he'll start to pass. That's no good. If he gets to that point, then you need to start recovering, and you can even set up the triangle on the far side, going here, and then curling all the way back over but it's much lower percentage. You want to try to get this thing right when he starts putting it on. So you're here, you would control the space, pop, and up. Now again, if I get to a good triangle guard, I can start working on the angle to finish it. That's a whole other video in and of itself, but for this setup, this is how it works. Now going back to the first one, we're gonna show him first in a more live speed. So he's here, he's holding me down. What I want to do is go here, And the second one, same type of setup. That's two ways to set up the triangle when your opponent is trying to break your guard, either with his hand or by using his elbow.